Who gave you life? Parents. Your parents gave you life? Okay. If your parents gave you a life, okay. So therefore the parents give children's life. Yeah? Sure, let's go. Huh? Yeah, sure. So how come many children die before they were born? How come the parents never give them life? Luck of the draw. Huh? Luck of the draw. How come when you die they cannot give you life back again? If it was up to give you life. Because it's not up to them. They were just a means. You know the example I give, analogy? It's like me it's go in my room, I have a switch and there's a lamp. I turn on the switch, the light comes on. I'm not the one who made the light, the electricity. I'm just, I'm just a, a step, I'm just a cause. A means. I, uh, a means, that's it, a means. I'm a means to turn the light on. Just like you, a father and your mother, just a means. But the one who gave a life is that's what Allah told us, told us to reflect upon ourselves, understand? And you know, when you have no creator, you have no certainty. Everything is subjective. That's why, you know, you know, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, what's his name? Today I was listening to him, man. The, the atheist, militant atheist. What's his name, man? That who always support Darwinian evolution. What's his name? What's his name? The Richard Dawkins. Richard Dawkins. He's been asking about... Uh, many things about uh, when he's coming from a moral point of view and he can he said I cannot tell you is is bad with certainty and that's what Allah mentioned the Quran about Musa when he told to Pharaoh if you don't know except there's Allah then you have no certainty at all and that's the reality everything becomes subjective and we see that right now because certainty comes from your creator you see you understand that yeah you know that's why you know worshiping the creator like I said it makes sense there is a creator for this uh, uh, beautiful creation. And this creator, when Allah, uh, the way Allah describes himself in the Quran, it makes sense that he created this creation as well. Allah is not a man. Uh, Allah describes himself, Al-Qawi. In Arabic, Al means all-powerful. Al-Aziz, the almighty. Al-Jabbar, the compeller. These names and attributes, no one come with this description of God other than the prophets and messengers. Even in the, the, the Torah and the Bible, it's not there, the way it's been described in the Quran. So looking at this creation, and looking that Allah claimed, Allah said that he creates creation, it makes sense. Because the way you describe yourself, makes sense that you create this creation. By Christianity, God got tired, God the regret. Doesn't make any sense, you understand? So what, do, you, do you have any question? Uh, just sort of comparisons with like other religions. For example, like Buddhism. Yeah. Like Buddhists believe that there is no God, like you are your own God. You can sort of live the same virtuous way as somebody in Islam would. No, I wouldn't, because why? Firstly, Buddhism is philosophy, which... Because uh, yeah. you have to understand, there's something exists... Morals and philosophy. Yeah, but you have to, 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 to differentiate between what exists in your mind and what exists in outside reality, all right? Everything can exist in your mind, even claiming to your God, that's a contradiction. Because if you are the creator, you cannot be created. Doesn't make any sense. Secondly, Buddhism has nothing to do for... Buddhism is about you being unity of existence with the universe. Which doesn't make any sense, because why? If all of us who are God, I have more power than you. Or you have more power than me. Or he has more power than me. We're not the same, we're not all God. Like, to our respect, maybe if you spoke about Christianity, Judaism, but when you look at Buddhism, Hinduism, Someone made it up, and even it's not even beneficial for us how to deal with our societies. You see, it's not. That's why Islam is something which is a, a practical religion. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, yeah, because that's, that's why, look, what I'm saying, there is not even a war against Buddhism or Hinduism, but against Islam, but yet Islam is spreading. Like, try, please, uh, and isn't the Quran mentioned 1,400 years ago? Why there is a huge war against Islam? Why is not Buddhism? Because they, ha they know the only religion that is standing firm against those who try to corrupt our human nature is Islam. The evil ones on, on the top, they don't care about Buddhism. Be Buddhist. Because Buddhism is just how you. They care about Islam because they know Islam will free mankind from be being slave of their desires and societies. And those on the top evil ones, they don't want that. But to be Buddha, be Buddha. Themselves they are Buddhist. I believe. You understand? I like that point. You like the point? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah from Allah Tawfiq. Alhamdulillah. So what we say, look, uh, let me give you an example, yeah? Imagine in the house, Afwana. Yes, sir, no problem. Imagine in the house, may Allah forbid, 
and you wake up and there's a fire everywhere and you try to serve yourself you try your best to serve yourself you couldn't you gave up and I saved you what would you say to me at least Thank you. would you remember me all the time yeah. but I never gave you life though so why we're not thinking about the one who gave us a life for free you know Allah mentioned the Quran if you try to count Allah blessings you will never be able to do so that's what Allah said, Ya oh, nas, all mankind, not Muslims, everyone. Fear your Lord, worship your Lord. Remember Allah's blessings on you. You understand? You without Allah, you know what they say? They say, if you doubt Allah, you doubt your own self. And that's true. Because like I said, if you don't believe there's Allah, there's no certainty. Everything's subjective. To, 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 to live this life, to have that, there's something good in our body. Nothing can fulfill it except when you submit to your creator. That peace. People having ridiculous money and they commit suicide. What? You see, because Allah mentioned the Quran, Allah bi dhikri in qulub. With the remembrance of Allah, worshiping your creator, you will have find you will find peace and tranquility. You know? How many people leave the house and never come back? How many people want to sleep they never wake up? There were people like you and I talking, now they're gone. That's what our Prophet said, visit the graveyard. Because those who are inside the graves, they were like us today. Like to go back to my other point, that's what Allah threatened people with the death. Allah said, "Qul inna al-mawt al-ladhi tafiruna minhu, fa innahu mulaqikum, thumma turaduna ila alim al-ghayb wa al-shahada, fa yunabiyukum bima kuntum ta'malun." Say, O Muhammad, to them, to those who reject me, turn away from me. The death that you try to run away from surely will meet you, and you will return to your Lord, who knows the seen and the unseen. Point here is that have you been to Algeria or Morocco? Never. If so, someone tells you tomorrow you have a work in Morocco, Algeria, what you have to do first? You have to investigate the country that you're going to. Is it a safe country? Is it a cold country? Which currency they use? You don't say, you know what, I'm just going to get there, and when I get there, I come to know. But, but maybe when you get there, it's dangerous. The, 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 you, you are bringing the wrong money. So logic, logic dictates one day we're going to die. We should step back thinking, you know what? Why do I have to die? Every part of your body has a, uh, has a purpose. What about you as a whole? So when you look to Islam, nothing go in line with our... And what Islam is the truth? Sorry, Akhi. What Islam is the truth? Because we have something called universal tools. What is our universal tools? Our sound reasoning, our natural inclination. When you, when you analyze Islamic teaching, it goes in line with that. So it's, it's like someone make a, a padlock, and after he gives you the key, and you open the padlock. So Allah gave us natural inclination of fitrah, then he sent down that revelation, because naturally we know what is right, what is wrong. You know it should be good to your mother, okay? But in a detailed information, you need what? You need a legislation from your creator who knows everything. Uh, yeah. Brother, we just uh, speak about Jannah, about paradise, right? She have two questions about that. Describe it, okay? The second thing, who created? Allah created. Allah is the creator of everything. That, like, describing it, I mean, in, well, to, to be honest, to, to describe Jannah, I, I, I'm going to stay here for two days, five days. Yeah. You know, Allah mentioned that, that to, to summarize it, Prophet Muhammad told us what is in Jannah, what the eyes never seen, what the ears never heard of, what the heart never thought of. So in paradise, there's everything. You know, there's like, a, uh, like I said, this hadith itself, it's, it just gives you the, the what is in Jannah. Rather, to show you the, the beauty of paradise, Prophet Muhammad told us on the day of resurrection, yeah, on the day of resurrection, there will be a disbeliever. Allah will ask him, if I give you this world 10 times, like this world, would you sacrifice it today to save yourself from the hellfire? He will say yes. Allah will say to him, I only ask you one thing, that you worship me alone and you don't associate anything as a partner with me. But today it's too late for you. So if this world is nothing, what you see here is nothing in comparison to paradise. You understand? That's why Prophet Muhammad told us about this life is cursed. Except what? The remembrance of Allah and the seeker of knowledge. So this life is nothing. Paradise, everything is there. Whatever, whatever you desire is there. You see? Alhamdulillah. So if you want to learn, go to the Quran. There's more about Jannah. About uh, the, the woman, the Prophet Muhammad said, the woman, they will be more beautiful there. They don't get no old. You understand? The provision come to you. There's no work. You know, there's no tiredness. You don't even sleep in Jannah. Because sleep is what? It's a sign of tiredness. Jannah, there is no tiredness. They will be forever. You know, subhanAllah, look at Allah's wisdom. You know, now we're trying to discover 
something to, to live in this life forever. Yeah? But living this life forever is not good. Too many uh, calamities. You know, we cannot take it to go crazy. That's why Allah, He knows that humans, they desire to live forever. But I told them, no, if you're sincere and you worship me alone, I'm going to give you a place that you live forever, which is no calamities in there, no troubles, paradise. But if you turn away from me, which is the biggest, the greatest crime, then you have the hellfire forever. That's why those who go to the hellfire don't blame no one except themselves. So what do you get in paradise? Whatever you want. Whatever you desire. Yeah, but those are human desires. What if there's... Different types of food, different types of yeah, those are houses. Very human, physical. Yeah. Do something metaphysical, something we like don't have some metaphysical. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. The biggest blessing on the, in, in Jannah is to see Allah. Your creator. You know when you... Uh, many times when the sun is rising or setting, people, what they do, they take their phones and start taking pictures. Yeah? They saw the horizon. Or you see the moon, you're amazed. Or tree, or you go to the mountains, you're amazed. You're just amazed with this creation. What about the creator of this creation? Yes. That bless, you know, that because Allah wants us to enjoy Jannah. When a believer see Allah in Jannah, they will forget all of that, which you call, quote, unquote, physical things. Yeah? They'll forget, but Allah wants them to join it. So Allah will allow them to join it more and more and forever. That's what Allah said. Don't be deceived by this life. Don't be deceived. This life is nothing. This life is like your own shadow. You know, if you try to catch your shadow, you'll never be able to. So if you want to, 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 your shadow to follow you, turn away from it. Likewise, this life. Always, you know, always we go to nightclub. You know, regardless how much time you go to nightclub, you always want to go more, more, more. You understand? But... Even if you go to nightclub, that happiness is called fake happiness. You know, you understand the true yeah, so happiness. In that sense, let's say you're in paradise and you have everything you could have. Inshallah. Wouldn't it get boring? No, you don't. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a deficiency from this world. That's a deficiency from this world, sis. The, the perfection of paradise, there is no board. Like even there's a verse in the Quran. You know, you know, sometimes you build a nice house. Then five days later, if you know what? I think the kitchen it was much better to be on the other side. Yeah? In part, there's none of that. Whatever you see, you think, you know, there's more and more and more. Maybe the I eternal life. The last, sorry, God, no, maybe, no problem at all. Maybe you mentioned the last person who get to the paradise when Allah no. asked him about, like, I will give you the Sulaiman, like, 10 multiplied by yeah, 10. That, like, you can explain. There's another one, which is a, a Nabi, alayhi salam, told us that there's a person who will be the last person to enter paradise. Then Allah will say to him, I will give you, before you go paradise, I will give you the, 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 the richest king in the world. That existed, I give you like his uh, what he owns and his dominion, and more and more and more. He said, No, no, I want paradise. Imagine, imagine now how many kings people want to be like king. Imagine 10 times you're the richest king in the world in the history. You don't want it when you see paradise. That's why, you know, you know, sister, that's why you see the young Muslims, brothers and sisters, in the what really strengthened my iman, my faith as well in Islam. When I see Muslims in, in the Western world, when everything is open for them to do haram, yeah? But yet they turn away from it at the age of 16, 17. The age when you have strong desires, but they turn away from it to practice Islam because they know the reward of paradise. Or you see a sister covering herself because she knows the reward of paradise. She knows this world is nothing in comparison of paradise. But before we move on, so it makes sense to you Allah exists and it makes sense about Islam? So far? Of course, you understand. I speak English. I'm not speaking <laughs> Polish, am I? Of course, you understand. What country are you from, I'm by the way? Yeah, hungry. Oh, hungry, okay. Yeah, I'm not saying you're going to convert me today. No, no, I'm not saying you convert. Look, look, sister. What is yeah. upon me to convey the message as for changing the heart that belongs to Allah? I can't. You know, I can't guide no one. There's two types of guidance. There's guidance which I show you the truth, and there's guidance changing your heart. There are prophets and messengers who are the best preachers. They had the, the, the best, they were the most eloquent, the most convincing people. And yet they did not convince some people. Not because the problem with the prophets and messengers, because the problem with the people. But sometimes maybe you need a type. No problem with that. But something you have to understand that there's something that's coming after us, which is death. Understand? But what I'm saying, what I've mentioned so far, logically, rationally makes sense. 
الحمد لله ناس ذا بوينت يو نو الحمد لله سو كان هاف 25 باوند بليز هي سيد نو واز فور سيك الله اه غير ان سم ماني مان استغفر الله لا جوك يا جوك لاست كويشن كون اخي اتس اباوت ذا مان اند ذا وومن ان الاسلام لايك اي جاست اكسبلين لايك اتس ا جاستس از نوت ايكوال right no all the time that, uh, that's true of course can you just explain that about the difference between them okay in, in the sight of allah men women are equal okay what do we mean, what do you mean by that in terms of doing the righteous actions and punishment if you if you commit sin and you commit sin the same sin in the sight of allah there's no difference between the two okay so that's firstly secondly when you come to social rules and uh, physical then we are different no doubt about that okay so for example but like i said uh, when it comes to uh, uh, giving hasanat i mean the reward and punishment we are same and now uh, socially yes we are different for example in islam we believe a man is in charge of the house that doesn't mean he should be a dictator in the house no no you know rather when allah put a man in charge of the house to take care of his family to nabi uh, said the best of you those who are best to their wives okay so yes of course like in islam we don't believe men women are equal everything that's oppression why because imagine i'm, I'm at home someone comes to rob my house and i said to my wife listen do you believe we're equal are you feminist yes go fight him then <laughs> do you understand <laughs> do you understand? No, forget it you understand no islam alhamdulillah we love our women we love our wives our sisters our daughters in islam the, the, the daughter every time she's getting older she's getting older she's getting more respect more love you understand in islam we don't have this when she's 16 you tell her, go get your own house no you want to make sure we take care of her, protect her, look after her, you understand? So yes, uh, 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 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, put a man in charge, no doubt about that. And put a woman in some issues, woman has more right than the man, the mother. The mother has more right than father, you understand? So yes, in Islam, uh, uh, like I said, man, woman, equal in the sight of Allah in terms of good deeds and bad deeds. But when it comes socially and uh, uh, what they call it, uh, uh, psycho uh, physically, or biologically, we are different. It's not, we are different. And this is what's happening now, sister, that we're mixing everything, it's gonna lead to destruction. Have you heard about the man that raped two girls? Who is it? Yeah, and of course, no doubt about that. Of course, but there was a man, okay? But now, woman, is a problem for women, why? Because if a man rapes a woman, and the police come to arrest him, he's gonna say, I, I, that, uh, I identify myself as a woman. So woman raped a woman, what? They can't do nothing to him, no, they're, they're not going to treat him worse. But the worst thing, he raped two women. When he was going to the court, he knew that they will sense him. So what he did, he went and he identified himself as a woman. So now they have to put him in which prison? Yeah, woman, prison. woman prison. prison. And that is for him what? Paradise. paradise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's paradise, man. Yeah, it's okay. that's what I'm looking for all the time. But look, Wallahi is a funny, but Wallahi is a funny, but it's very sad. And what, that's what the Arabs say. They say, Sharrul Baliyati may The worst of calamity that which will make you laugh is calamity. Where is the protection of the woman? I, I said to one brother, they keep saying Islam oppressed women. They cannot even use it anymore because in the Western world, they don't even know what woman is. Yeah, they're going crazy. You don't know what woman is. That's going crazy, subhanAllah. We'll lie, we'll love good for the Western world. Well, Islam teach us that we love good for the people. Well, we want the Western world to prosper, but the way the Western world is going, is going to destroy itself. Well, is going crazy. Well, this is too much. What's happening? Who's this? Ibu uh, Khaya Sahabi. Nice man. No, no. No, no. I think someone smoking something strong. Yeah. I scared you. Yeah, so. Uh, so uh, alhamdulillah in Islam, uh, Islam is against feminism, no doubt about that. Islam is against red pill movement as well. Red pill movement that believe women, you know, is nothing or you treat women like nothing. No, women will respect her, understand? Take care of her, understand? So feminism is trying, women against men, no. That's what I'm saying, sister, you need a divine law. When, 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 when human beings start inventing their own laws, you will see destruction. Online. Is that clear? Uh, I'm done, by the way. Do you have any, any questions? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I mean, there's a nice book I can give you to read, inshallah. Huh? No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah.
هذه لا ليست نصرانيه الناس النصرانيه ما هي نصرانيه لا لا سلوت مريم هذه ملحده اسمع هي ما ملحده ان شاء الله ان شاء الله ما الله هي في الطريق هي هي نظراتها وكلامها ان شاء الله هي 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 You promote an iPhone. Alhamdulillah. If you have any question, you have no question of it. Everything's clear to you. Make sense. Thank you so much. You welcome very much and thank you for take care. Look after yourself. Take care. No, I'm not joking. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Take care. Bye bye. I am in what you come. There's like 600 people. They want to say salam to you, Rokhbe. There's no need to mention numbers. Just say me say. Hello, hello, hello. May Allah bless you all. You can pay. You can pay. Dinner. Hello, my skin. The brother gets angry, man. No, no, no. What happened to him? Finally. Yeah. Anyway, may Allah subhanahu wa taala guide her. We ask Allah subhanahu wa taala to give her hidayah. أخوة ديديا صحيح نعم إنك لا تهدي من أحببت ولكن الله يهدي من يشاء الرسول عليه الصلاة والسلام أحسن داعي عليه الصلاة والسلام دعا أناس لم يقبلوا الإسلام ليس المشكلة مع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم المشكلة مع شخص وبعض الناس ربما هذا دخل الإسلام بعدين لأن بعض الناس يحتاج وقت فهمت؟ because it's a big step to become a Muslim you know some people they and it's a big step but step into successfulness and happiness true happiness الله مستعان بارك الله فيكم من الاخ عبد الرحمن حي الله عبد الرحمن اي بلد الله من اثيوبيا حي الله اهل اثيوبيا كيفكم الحمد لله بخير فرحانين بارك الله فيك ما شاء الله جزاك الله خير وانا كذلك شفت خلال اليوم والله العظيم شفت هذا المكان والله العظيم الله اجركم والله ان شاء الله امين امين واياكم بارك الله فيكم ان شاء الله اي اخي جسونا وير ذا اذر براذرز برينج ذم يا اخي وابن تو سيراج سيد سيراج ها Oh, you want to leave it up to you? I mean, uh, he's not. No, he's uh, upset. He's yeah. upset. Yeah. And anyway, I have to go. Barakallah fikum. Hayyakum Allah. Hayyakum amin wa yakum. Akhiya, where is the other brothers?